Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to this Highlanders career mode. We are at the last round of the regular season and the next match is going to be up against the Blues. But if you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. We were able to beat them last time, but it was a bit of a challenge. Hopefully we will be able to get the win once again, but yeah, let's get right into it. Welcome to another round of Super Rugby. This one is too tight to call. There's so little between the teams. Justin Marshall is alongside me. This game greatly anticipated by a lot of people, Justin. Definitely important. Matches. Right, we have got a couple changes to our starting lineup. The first of which is Daniel Lennart Brown back in that number one jersey. Mitch Hunt actually didn't have a terrible game in the number one jersey last match, but it is going to be Daniel Lennart Brown for this one. Then we have got Bryn Gatlin still at 10, James Lowe 11. We have got Tay Walden who is going to be slotting into that number 12 jersey. Rudradra is getting a chance in the centres. He's going to be up against Marchant. Then we have got Chisel and Colby. And then Nabora. And here are the benches. And tell you what, their bench still has Bowden Barra and Rico Ioani on it. Which just shows how much they are backing their lineup. They are starting this match. Or maybe it is to do with injuries, perhaps. They want to save them for these finals matchups that are just around the corner. But yeah, let's get right into this match. It is going to be a Terry Black kicking off for the Blues here. We are at Eden Park away from home. We struggled to win against these guys for our home game. So hopefully we will be able to win it away. And that is a good take from Tokolahi straight away. Although that looks like it could have almost been the Blues ball off the bat. But we have still got this one. Now it is going to be Smith who goes to Squire. Goes out to Rodrigo with his first touch of the match. Tay Walden goes out to Chisel and Colby. This back line isn't looking too sharp. Off the bat for the Highlanders, and it's just something about the Blues that seem to just make us look like we are pretty ordinary, to be honest. But hopefully we will be able to get the big win here. Give us the momentum going into the finals games as well. It was a good tackle around the side from Aaron Smith. James Parsons now getting hit hard. That was an offload and a half, but that is Jack Whedon's ball almost, but not quite able to get it now. It is Parsons running onto it with another offload. He is offloading for fun at the moment, James Parsons. And that was almost Liam Squires. Now it is big Carl Tuanuki Afi is tackled. And they aren't giving the ball up here, the Blues. They have got very good ball retention, as the commentators have just said. Rodrigo wrestles their number six to the ground. Now it is going to be Tuanga Fussy. They are just playing crash ball at the moment, the Blues. But it is working for them. They haven't lost the ball yet. Rodrigo with another big hit. Aaron Smith finishes the job back to his feet. And we've got the ball once again. And now it is going to be Makali Do Goes to Rodrigo. Look at the pace of the man. It is Sebi Rodrigo goes on the inside to Tay Walden. Offload didn't work out. And I just got the timing completely wrong there. But Rodrigo back to his feet. Rips that ball away. Now it is wet and goes to Squire who's dropped the ball. And unfortunately with that, it is going to be an advantage to the Blues. And they are offloading very often here. But that is going to be our ball. So we are going back for the scrum now. It is going to be the Blues number 9 feeding this ball into the scrum. And I have to say the Blues, I really hope we don't have to face them in the final. Because of the fact that we just don't seem to be able to find our rhythm against them. I don't know what it is, but it is also those offloads. They don't really help it. But nonetheless, that is going to be Dylan Hunt's ball now. And now it is Parkinson goes to Gatlin. One more. Fires it out to Chisel and Colby, who isn't going to be caught. And now he's done this step as well. Chisel and Colby, but he's been hit hard in the tackle. But now we are going to be firing this ball wide. Aaron Smith goes to Dixon. Out to Gatland. Goes to James Lowe. Offload has found the hands of Akira Ioani, who is starting to roll them all now. But every time we do a backline movement at the moment, it is shut down by the Blues. And that is annoying because that is a good kick downfield from TJ Fiani, but I think it's going too far. Yes, it is. And we are going back for the scrum now. We have got the scrum, and I'm feeling a set play, perhaps, if we are able to win this one. But yeah, at the moment, we have had a lot of bounce passes against this blue side. And we've only played them for about 100 minutes in total at the moment this season. We are going for our classic set play. We are going to be firing it wide. I'm not sure where Mark Talia went, which means Chislin Colby is in the wide open. He's done the step. Round Duffy, I believe it was, in the number 15 jersey. It isn't Bowden Barrett, though, which I feel like could cost them a little But That's another bounce pass. Radradra with the bounce pass. Walden with the bounce pass. And it is straight into the hands of Lamour. And then it is going to be Tuanga Fassi having a run. But he is tackled by Nabura. It is their number nine. Round the side has been hit hard. And because of it, I think we have got this ball straight back. Now it is going to be Nabora playing halfback. Goes to Makaeli too. Goes to Dixon. Goes to Tay Walden who's felt a bit of a gap. One more pass. No, he wouldn't pass it unfortunately. And he has taken it to ground. But now there is a lot of space around the side for Aaron Smith who sells the dummy. But Big Carl Tuanuki Afi got him there. 
Now it is going to be Ash Dixon. Fires it out to Tay Wall and steps on the inside. Outside bottle, Jessel and Colby. But once again, we're just going nowhere against the side. I am kind of loving the fact that the Blues are able to shut us down, though. It does add a little bit of an extra challenge to this match. And hopefully, we will be able to get this one. And that is James Lowe, who has got the first try of the match for the Highlanders now. And tell you what, we had to work hard for it. I think we had to work hard for it. About 60 minutes into the game in the last one, if I'm not wrong, before we were able to score. But now we were able to get it only after 30-something. So we are improving, I guess you could say. But it was just a good backline movement. Draw and pass. Had to be perfect, which it was. And then from there, James Lowe was able to score the try on the wing. Bring Gatlin now with this conversion attempt. How great would it be to be able to get a bonus point against this blue side before the finals? Just to cement our place well and truly on top of the ladder. I think we're already about 10 points clear at the moment as things are sitting. But nonetheless, we want to make it 15. We want to get way up there and we want to make an impact throughout these finals matches. And hopefully we will be able to do that. But now it is going to be Terry Black once again kicking off for the Blues. He has gone short. It looks like it's going to be Dixon's ball. He has taken it well, but he has got Carl Tuanuki Afi on his back, and straight away the Blues have got that ball. And Carl Tuanuki Afi is at a very good season. I believe in the top three try scorers, he's actually number one. He has scored the most tries throughout the season out of any player. So that is very impressive. But Tokolai has ripped that ball away. Wedden now goes to Walden, goes out to Redradra. He's found a gap up the middle. And they're all running away from him. Which means Redradra is going to be scoring the second try of the match for the Highlanders. No one wanted to tackle the big Fijian in the centres there. Semi Redradra. He was very quick. He hasn't really had too much game time this season. Which is a strange thing to think about. The fact that we have been able to afford having Semi Redradra just sitting on the bench. But yeah, Mark Talia sold the wrong way there. And then Semi Redradra, he is very quick. And they weren't quite catching him. Bring Gatlin now with this kick out in front. If I take this one quickly, we might have a chance of being able to have one more crack at getting another try. It's going to be close though. We're up to 30 seconds. It has gone over. When is the clock going to stop? 13 seconds left. And we are going to get one more kick off from the Blues. It is going to be Oteri Black once again kicking this one off for the Blues for the third time this half. Are we going to be able to make the most of it? That is the halftime siren. Now we have got a small opportunity to be able to score another try all, but they have taken it well there. It was Lamour on the right wing for the Blues. Now it is going to be a Kiriwani get away from the touchline. That is very close. Aaron Smith makes the tackle. Hopefully they do decide to cut inwards rather than passing it back. That is nice. Oh, but we're still forced them towards the touchline. We want this ball staying in play because of the fact that it will give us an extra opportunity to be able to score one more try. We haven't quite got that ball yet. We are forcing them backwards, but now it has gone to James Parsons, who's uh, by Ash Dixon, I believe it was, but we still haven't quite got this ball. They have been holding on to the ball very nicely, the Blues, overall so far in the matches that we have played them. Although every time I say that, we always steal it back. So luckily we have got one more chance. At getting to the try line, it is going to be Wedding goes to Walden, goes to Gatland, goes to Jessel and Colby, goes to Radradra. Wasn't a good backline movement, unfortunately. But hopefully, when we go the other way, it will improve. We have gone to McAlley, two fires it out to Nabora, one more back to Walden, one more to Gatland. Goes out to James Lowe, who's tried to step offloads to Walden, he's getting close to the touchline. And Tay Walden doesn't seem to like to offload off notice because I have tried about three times and none of them have been successful. Now it is Redradra. It goes back to Chisel and Colby. He's a very quick man. Got Gatland on the inside, on the outside to Redradra. He does step. He offloads it way on the inside, unfortunately. And because of it, the Blues have got this ball straight back and we're up to 51 minutes. And this seems to be a common occurrence. We haven't quite been able to get that final blow in the half. And because of it, we normally end up going to 60. But that is kind of good because of the fact that we do normally wear these other sides down a little bit. That's a good offload there. They are dropping the ball now. Tui belotu has got it, but Parkinson's ripped it away. Now it is going to be Squire. Goes out to Taywald and draw and pass. Not quite, but it's gone to James Lowe, who is going to try and step. But he's run straight into Matt Duffy there. We are going to be firing this one wide now. It's Daniel Leonard Brown goes to Wedding, goes to Gatlin, goes to Jessel and Colby inside. Border Adrada who's going to run it straight. And that is a great tackle from Matt Duffy there. The Blues trying to steal that one. I feel like we've got to go to the right here. Aaron Smith could almost go himself. He has sold the dummy. Got to Makeli too. He drives and he has scored the try. Took us 58 minutes, but we have got the third of the match against this Blues lineup now. And it was Makeli too who was able to do the job. 
I accidentally skipped the replay there, which is very unfortunate, but it was a very good leg drive from McAlley too, off the pass of Aaron Smith. But nonetheless, Bryn Gatlin now has got this kick. Looking to add points. Oh, that one wasn't the best kick, but I think it should still be going over from here. Yes, it is. And now the score going into half time is going to be 21-0 to the Highlanders. And the fact that it took us 31 minutes to score our first try just shows how strong of a last 10 minutes. And you could say the last 30 minutes because of the fact that we did have 20 extra minutes after the halftime siren. But nonetheless, good half for the Highlanders in the end. We had less possession, less territory, and also we made less tackles, which is ideal. 15 handling errors in one half once again from the Highlanders is not sharp. But I believe any time that ball went to ground off a pass, that counts as a handling error. So that probably made up about 10 of them. To be fair, but we had a lot of line breaks, which is what we like to see, and hopefully we will have a few more in the second half and get that bonus point now. And it is going to be Bryn Gatlin for the Highlanders kicking off the second half. The first time we have kicked off to the Blues throughout this match. And we have gone long. It is going to be, by the looks of it, it is their number nine who goes to their number six who shunted off for a dry dry like he was nothing, which is a very hard thing to do. Tokalahi with a good tackle on Mark Talia there. And number nine round the side and getting close to the touchline. Aaron Smith with a great tackle there, not quite able to get that ball. Now it is going to be Akira Ioane who goes to Kauli Tuioti, tackled by Dixon there. Straight back to his feet, rips the ball away. Now it is Parkinson, goes to Walden, bounce pass once again. There's no one really there for us at the moment. And because of it, Carl Tornuki, Arfi's having a run. Regrado has been shunted off for the second time so far this half. Oh, but he did make that tackle, semi Rodrada there. He wanted to rip that ball away as well, but not quite able to, unfortunately. Now it is going to almost be Liam Squires' ball. He's had a relatively quiet game overall, but someone who hasn't had a quiet game for us is Dylan Hunt. He has been a very busy boy. Good tackle. And Dixon rips that ball away. I was thinking about him as well. Parkinson now goes to Walden, who is facing backwards. Chisel and Colby's facing backwards as well. And the Blues are driving us backwards, which is what we don't like to see. Whedon now goes to Dixon, though. Now we're starting to get the draw and pass going. It just takes one little movement to make a big difference, and that is what we have done here. Low, very close to the touch line. And with that step, he did go into touch, so it is going to be the Blues line out now. Can we win this one as Parkinson against Tui Pelotu? No, he's still got it. Tui Pelotu, very good in the line out. But now they are going to be using their back line. Mark Talia, Chisel and Colby were standing still, and because of it, I think Mark Talia is going to be able to almost Make it to the line. Great tackle though from Aaron Smith there. But yeah, unfortunately wasn't quite able to get my legs going. As Chisel and Colby there. Parkinson with a good tackle. We've got to get this ball back soon or else the Blues might be able to score. They are offloading for fun and because of it they are going to score the Blues. We only had Tokolahi out on the wing of the Blues just like that strike back. And it was that man on the wing, Jordan Lamar, who was able to get the job done for them. At the end of the day it was just good. Backline movements from the Blues that did cause the big gaps. And then the offload game as well. Good pass from Fayani there. And at the end of the day, Tokolai not going to be catching their number 14. He is a quick man. And he has got the first try of the match for the Blues now. It is going to be a Terry Black now with this kick. Is he going to be able to get it? Yes, he has. A Terry Black straight down the middle. So now the score in this match is 21 to the Highlanders, 7 to the Blues. And so far, you'd say that the Blues have had the better of the second half. So hopefully, from here, we will be able to take the momentum back because they still actually have time to be able to score a couple more tries, the Blues, if they can get going here. And that is what we don't want to happen. And tell you what, Ioani's just completely stolen that one. But he did manage to get that. And Tokolai almost able to get that one. For us, yeah, it looked like it was going to be Matt Duffy's ball, but Akira Ioane takes that one in. And tell you what, they are starting to look like they are finding a little bit of momentum. That's a great ball to Akira Ioane, and he's got some insane pace, and Gatlin's not going to catch him. And because of it, that's the second... Oh, he's just cut back in, Akira Ioane, but that is the second try for the Blues within a few minutes. They are right back in this match now, the Blues, Akira Ioane. I said that he stole the kickoff, but from there, he just stole an 80 metre try for the Blues. Look at this, Mark Talia with the offload, that's a great inside ball. And from there, Gatlin wasn't catching him, Chisel and Colby wasn't where we would have probably been wanting him to be. 
And because of it, he was just there. And Akira Ioane scores the second try of the match for the Blues now. Terry Black once again with the kickoff. And I don't think we've won this match yet, to be honest. I think the Blues are going to keep on getting back into it. And I think they still have the potential to be able to score one or two more tries. A Terry Black converting that one. And now the score is 14 to the Blues, 21 to the Highlanders. And I think that 58-minute try that we did get in the first half may come in handy here. Because of the fact it is the only thing keeping us in the lead. I'm going to have to try kicking somewhere else here. Because they seem to love it when I go long. But that is a decent kickoff from Bryn Gatlin. Tell you what, Semi Rodrigo's chasing that one hard but didn't quite get it. Gibson tackled by James Lowe. Great low tackle there. But we haven't got that ball. And at the moment the Blues are trying to starve us of position. And it is working. Tuanga Fassi having a good run. But he was dragged down by Rodrigo. That's another offload. But Dylan Hunt... No, he wouldn't quite get it, unfortunately. Now it is going to be the number nine once again. Goes to Nui, who's shunted off Aaron Smith. But Dylan Hunt steals that one. Gatlin now goes to Radradra, fires it out to Chisel and Colby, who wasn't quite able to find an offload to Nabora. And the Blues almost trying to steal that one as well. Right, what do we do with this? I feel like trying something different. I'm going to go for a bit of a high kick here. See who can get under it. It's going to be Tay Walden. No, not quite. But they have taken it back into their in goal. And now Nui are now passing it to Marchin. And tell you what, this is dangerous for us. This could backfire big time if they can get the back line going. They're just shunting us off like with flies at the moment. A big goal to Anuki Afi's having a run. He has gone on the outside. And now we are in a lot of trouble. And it's gone to Kiriohari again. But he is going to be caught this time, luckily. And we have forced him into touch. Tell you what, the Blues at the moment are on another level in this half. I am absolutely loving it. The challenge is certainly there. And I've got to make sure this line-out goes straight now. And that one is pretty much dead straight, which means more than likely Tui Pelotu might be able to steal that one. Yes, he has. And now the Blues have got another chance inside our 22. Now it is going to be their number nine. Goes to Terry Black inside the dummy, and he scored the try on Terry Black. And they have got right back into this match. Now the Blues, I'm feeling the pressure. That's three tries so far in this half, and they are now saying that one more try for them will get them the bonus point. We might have to go for a drop kick here. If we want to get the win, this half just hasn't quite... Gone in our favour, unfortunately, but the Blues are just playing too well. I missed that tackle, but I wasn't able to get to him because of the dummy cell. And our Terry Black just goes straight up the middle, scores the try. We've only got a couple minutes left in this match. And my big question here, would the Blues be willing to take a draw if they do get this ball down inside their 22, perhaps? Will they kick it out? But the score at the moment is 21 to 21 at Eden Park. They are making more subs. Is Bowden Barrett coming on the field now? It's looking like they're making every other sub except for the bats. So they are saving Bowden Barrett and Rico Ioani for those finals matches. Right, we're going to try a different kickoff now. Unfortunately, that little chip in behind didn't quite work out for us there. Chisel and Colby chasing that one hard. Has he got that ball? No, it is going to be Akira Ioani who's had such a great game so far. We have won the... Ooh, we've won the not releasing penalty here. Tell you what, there's some pressure on this kick, but I think I've got a kick for goal from here. Bring Gatland. It is going to be 80 minutes. Is this kick going to be going over from Bring Gatland here to win his side the game? The wind is behind him. Distance shouldn't be a problem. It is just accuracy that I'm a little bit worried about. Deep breath. Let's go. Is that one going over from Bring Gatland? Yes, it is. That means that in the 82nd minute, the Highlanders have managed to steal the victory from the Blues, but they scored three in the second half. We scored three in the first half, so we are very lucky that we won the not releasing penalty there. The Blues, they will be absolutely gutted. They looked extremely strong in this match, and now a small part of me does want to verse them in the finals to see what kind of matchup we can have, because it seems to be that when these teams face each other, it is a very even game. And we saw that today. We did score three tries in the first half. Michaeli 2, Low and Radradra. Gatlin converting three from three and also getting that penalty goal, which did win us the game. They are saying that the Blues had a very good comeback in the second half. They did indeed. A Kiriwani, a Terry Black, and also it was Lamar who was able to score the other and then three from three for a Terry Black. They had more possession. We ended up with more territory in the end. And then the tackles, we had to make more handling errors. We only had two in that second half. Yet the Blues, they were just on another level. You would have thought that they'd be able to score three in that first half of all of our handling errors. But they have five line breaks as well to our one. So it was well and truly a dominant performance from the Blues in that second half. But now we get to see who we are going to be playing in the first match 
of the playoffs. Oh, okay, so we are going to be facing the Hurricanes in the quarterfinals. We managed to clear second place on the full table by 10 points, which is good to see. I will quickly have a look at the competition info and see who else is going to be playing each other. But it was a very good season overall so far for the Highlanders. Right, so the quarterfinals games are going to be as follows. The Highlanders are going to be taking on the Hurricanes. It is going to be the Panthers versus the Chiefs. That will be an interesting matchup. Then we have got the Reds versus the Sharks. And then the last one is going to be the Waratahs versus the Blues. I wish that I could watch some of these other matches that are taking place, but unfortunately we only get to see them as simulated score lines. But nonetheless, that is going to be the end of this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.